Okay. Oh, little Tuku. Oh, not so little anymore. Getting bigger. <sighs> Those guys are uh, first time to a Cusco and Cut. I like to edit lots of my videos and make them fancy with music and cuts. And so basically a Cusco and Cut is a one day a week where we don't edit at all. We don't cut. We just got back from a very much needed 36 hour retreat friend's birthday up at a beautiful spot camping underneath the stars swimming in a little pond fishing and uh, getting way more sun than i've gotten in, in a row in, in quite some time and it was our first day in the 90s and uh, my brain has been fried so i figured it was a perfect time for a cusco uncut <laughs> what you got there t some silly putty I've got some packages here that I wanted to open some for some folks that, that people have sent stickers and stuff. Uh, I've never done one on, a, on, on an uncut. Oh god, here we go. So I figured I should do it for the first time. Why not? And then also I wanted to visit back to the last video and not only thank you guys for your support uh, in the comments, but also to say that, you know, it, after watching the footage back and after having posted it like I, I'm still I'm still kind of processing everything you know because it was I have lots of different feelings about it you know there's there's definitely part of me that really didn't want to post it because of the the idea of not wanting to give snakes a bad image you know and not wanting them to get any kind of legislative foothold using our footage that would be horrible because we're kind of the opposite here we're trying to get people to understand that snakes are not as bad as they get the rap for obviously but, and I don't think that that footage would be something that, that would be, it wasn't very graphic. It was like, you know, snake grabbed her and we cut and there's no blood shown or anything like that. So, and then, and then also it is true that it's just, it's not that bad. She was, she was relatively fine. Not that it couldn't have been worse. And the other thing is I was expecting a lot of blowback from that video. And uh, that's kind of one of the reasons I posted it because I actually felt really bad. Like, and I still feel really bad when I watched the footage back the first time I cried. Uh, cause I know I don't want to see my kids get hurt. I don't like seeing my kids get hurt. I, that's the last thing I want to see. But I also live in a world where I realize that there's always going to be risks and I try to, my goal is to prepare my kids as much as possible for all those risks. And as a parent, you constantly, anybody who else is a parent that wants their kids to succeed in life, which I think is pretty much all of us, knows that there's there's risk assessment you have to make whether it's anything whether it's playing baseball whether it's doing anything i mean riding a horse was something that was brought up in the comments and yeah riding a horse if she can you imagine her on a horse that horse would probably kill her um but it but it, there's risks risks with everything and i think that most of us that are sensible know that and which is why probably the comments were so understanding and good but there was a big part in it posted it kind of expecting that 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 backlash and kind of wanting to get beat up a little bit because I felt really bad about myself for having let that slip and uh there was part of me that's there was a little self deprecating part of me that wanted to you know punish myself for having that even happen and one thing I will say is that I'm very glad it wasn't a bigger snake that that happened with and just in case especially since now the chickens are part of our life like the, the snake room has been separated for the most part from everything else in our life. It's down there by itself, all the rats are down there. But now these chickens are here, we've got a different kind of thing to think about. And that's one of the mistakes that I made. And um, again, uh, just feel feel bad about it. Um, luckily she forgave me very quickly. Luckily she is tough as nails. Uh, but there was, a, there was a couple of the thoughts I had about this and I, I thought I had prepared them in my head so I wouldn't have to worry about not having to edit this video at all to make it at least somewhat coherent but uh, the brain fry the Sun is also a real factor <laughs> also I, I I think the reason I didn't cry while it happened so here, here let me play back the scenario for you. you guys saw the you guys saw the initial strike and then I cut so because you know I didn't want to just continue to have her crying on camera and screaming which is what she was doing it, it's uh, I can only imagine how it would make people feel just to hear how, you know, because it was scary. It was scary for her, scary for me, it was scary for everybody. You know, even though it wasn't as bad as it could have been, it was still a very scary moment, you know. I, I was caught me completely by surprise. If you watch the footage, you see that I never would have expected that from Junior. And without the chickens, it never would have happened, guaranteed. I mean, in that, in that particular scenario with that snake. 
and just how she was petting him so slow and calmly on the face. I didn't really notice the body change. Watching the video back, I definitely saw the, the body language change, how he got, just got really still and was just waiting, put a, little, a couple little flicks, and was just sitting there all calm while she's petting him, saying, nice, Nakey. Um. <laughs> but yeah, so right when, that, right when that happened, grabbed her, and I'm like, okay, I'll go immediate for the, immediately for the chew on the tail trick to get the snake to let go because it was a feeding response. And at that same time, Hillary's coming in the room and, and she sees what happens. She starts crying and, and, and I'm just like, I got both of my girls crying. I'm not going to cry because in those moments, I go into instinct mode. I got to be dad. I got to be tough when we face any kind of thing like that. I got to go into resolve the situation as quickly as possible, which it was about 15 seconds from strike to Hillary coming in the room to me getting the snake to let go of her longest 15 seconds of my I'm not gonna say my life because I've had some pretty harrowing experiences but definitely of the week or month possibly the year time slowed down immensely in that 15 seconds and uh there was also you know there wasn't really much blood because it bit her through the shirt so the anticoagulant didn't get into the the puncture wounds so there so that, that was good anyway I'm, I'm kind of bouncing all over the place <laughs> she's like, whatever. I'm out. She's like, I moved on, dude. Are you gonna move on? <laughs> I'm working yeah. on it, T. I'm still processing. I don't like my little girl to be hurt. I like to. <laughs> well, we had such a good weekend. We had, oh, it was celebrating a friend's birthday out there. It was a beautiful place. Oh, all right. I think I've said my piece. I think you get what I mean. I, I, my, I don't think that I'm clear of fault whatsoever. I take full responsibility for my actions, want to be real here on the channel, want to show things that'll, that'll have benefit and just, if I, if I can't be real then, I, then there's no point, there's no point, gotta be, gotta keep it 100, right T, right, she deserves, she deserves it, everybody deserves it, and now I'm pulling out a knife. <laughs> Ooh, Another funny. risk assessment, they but she's funny. smart, she knows the knife's sharp. She knows she's not gonna go out and reach out and grab it, are you, T? Huh? She knows she's not stupid. Oh, oh bro. <laughs> From Caden, Caden over in Utah. You're a badass. Keep it real. <laughs> it's like, could we, could I pull the death? I didn't I didn't know that was in there, obviously. I just opened it. <laughs> but what good timing from our uh, Utah Shed Hunter. Check out these. Look at the stickers, T. Yeah, of course you can hold it. I'll, you get stickers for T, too. Thank you. Thank you for sending one so that, that Leia could have a sticker as well, my friend. That's much appreciated. I don't know why I'm trying to tap the lens. There we go. Utah Shed Hunter. Nice sticker, guys. <laughs> and what, what a perfectly timed envelope opening. That was ridiculous. All right, T. You see me? You got the sharp knife. Yeah, always be careful. Always cut away from yourself. So you don't cut yourself, right? Right? And also ask daddy if you ever want to use a knife while you're still a little turd nugget. What up, Cusco? Thanks for just being you. Keep up the great videos and shenanigans. Brad's beautiful balls. <laughs> it's like these envelopes knew. It's like they knew that this is what I was gonna... But nobody knew. These, these stickers, I got these like way before anything else happened. I don't know, I guess I'd... Maybe I am consistent here on the channel. I'm consistently consistent with being myself. <laughs> Thanks you guys for sticking around for all that stuff. It's, being myself is a... Uh, I've always been fa fairly... No, I've always been extremely blessed, always felt extremely blessed that I've found Hillary because it takes a very special person to put up with all of Brian. You guys only get like 15 or 20 minutes a few times a week. Can you imagine having to live with this 24-7, 365? Because I can't. I watch the videos and that's enough. Uh, Brian, thanks for making great videos. My family and I enjoyed them all. Keep inspiring us all. Jar pythons and family. Jim and Angie. Jar pythons. I like that. When I think jar, I think like jar head, like a, like a military type of thing, you know, but that, that's where my mind goes at least, but it's actually a python in a jar. A mason jar at that. The best jars on the planet. Thank you very much. Look, T. It's a snake in a jar. Jar pythons. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> thank you. Can you say thank you for the stickers? Thank you, Dad. Silly. Is that? Oh no, there's definitely more. All right, we gotta pick it up. We gotta pick up the pace. Pick up the pace, uh -huh. but still be safe. Pick up the pace, but still be safe. Pick up the pace, but still be safe. Rob Sowers, KY Constrictors, our buddy over there. 
Rob, how is your snake doing, man? I'd love an update picture, my friend. Let me start off by saying you, my friend, are an inspiration to all. The positivity you bring to the community is tremendous. Keep doing what you're doing. I'll put a couple extra stickers in here to give away to one of your lives if you want to. No, flush them, flush them down the bidet. So the way the uh, bidet works is actually it flushes things out, not in, but I'll give it a try. Uh, there's plenty here to do with, so maybe we'll see how they float. <laughs> oh, I like how there's a really shiny, look, see, there's a really shiny one, and then there's the white background. Check it out. Rob over at KY Daddy, Constrictors, folks. Daddy. Rob, send me a picture of that Daddy. snake, and I will put it up on the channel. Could you cut this for me? Thank you, sir. Could you cut this? Oh, that one's already open, T. I gotta cut this. I gotta cut this way out here. Yeah. Away from your face where it's safe. One thing I think I forgot to mention is that we are planning to not have Well, I never really let her get around the heads of the big snakes, but now I'm just going to be super extra on it. Oh, you want to give that to mommy? We will. We got giggity geckos and river rat reptiles. Did I see that this was over in Blythe? Did I see that right on the envelope? I'm, I'm going from memory here. Blythe, California. I stop in Blythe sometimes to... Uh, when we're on our way to Arizona, I've stopped in Blythe several times. Uh, I think that's all the envelopes. Oh, no, one more. One more? One more, T. Oh, yeah. And we got a package over there, too. We almost we almost in there. Trying to keep it a reasonable amount of time for an uncut. Raven Reptiles. Jay Potter over one in... Uh, one more? Oh, I'm reading my own address. Tennessee. Tennessee. Take me to another place. Take me to another land. You like that, T? You yeah. like that sticker, Raven Reptiles? We're gonna put these. We're gonna put these stickers everywhere, okay? We're gonna put these stickers all over the place. Pretty sure that's all of the envelopes. Thank you guys very much for sending those. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the words of encouragement. Also appreciated. And we got Doom. Wow. T-shirt. For you. Ectothermic dungeon. Thanks, guys. Look at that design on that shirt real close. It's like a, it's almost like Scotland meets the islands or like the Hawaiian islands. Look at those designs. I'm saying that from memory because I remember looking at it before. Yeah, it's definitely what it is. I didn't look at it, but I'm <laughs> I know that's what it was. Cool design, Jim. Right now, guys, thanks for joining for the Cusco Uncut. Leia, you want to say anything? It's uncut. It's your moment. You can say whatever you want about your daddy. I won't even cut it out. I'll put it right up on the internet. Nothing? Nope. Do you love your daddy? Yeah. Okay. That's all that matters. Bye.